This is Otteretto. This is a puzzle game based on palindromes. Spun a puzzle game last time on the wheel. And so I was like, why not clear out something that I bought on Steam? This is a game about palindromes. A palindrome is a sequence that is the same forwards and backwards. For example, green, blue, yellow, blue, green. Trace the palindrome with your mouse or finger. Easy enough. Palindromes don't need to be in a straight line. <laughs> Longer palindromes are worth more points than shorter ones. More complicated palindromes are worth more points than simpler ones. Is a single square a palindrome? Yes. Okay, that's probably very good to know. It's only worth one point, but it's useful for setting up longer palindromes. Okay. A little bit of strategy happening here. Try to reach each level's score goal with the squares you're given. Okay. Let's give it a shot here. Alright. Um, okay, let's see. Blue, red, yellow, blue. Okay, that's pretty cool looking. Uh, is a straight line just of colors? About, yeah, it is a very sleek UI. I agree with that. Can I restart? Uh, no, I can't. Okay, so it's just okay. So it just sent me straight into the game, basically. Okay, so I have all the time. It's not like a Tetris attack kind of the blocks rise on you kind of thing. It's very chill. You have all the you have all the time. It looks like you need to just sit here and. Piece out a palindrome. Let's see. Okay. Green. Blue, green, blue. Blue, blue. Uh. Okay, I'm going to try this. There we go. Uh, but I don't know if I'm going to make it, actually, because I think I messed up making too many one pointers. Uh, um, let's do this and then go, oh my gosh, ooh, barely made it. Okay, so when pieces go up off the top, they just float up to the surface. Go evolve, little block piece. Um, all right, blue, purple, yellow, purple, yellow yellow purple okay so you get kind of an intuitive sense after a while of a good palindrome I like that you got your you got the time to sit and think that's the important thing to me I don't feel pressured by this game it's very nice if the colors and shapes weren't always coordinated and a palindrome could just accept one or the other this could get a lot more complicated yeah, um, I have a feeling it's going to stay kind of simple. I have a feeling this is kind of an accessibility measure, the shapes, in case you're like colorblind or something. You can still play the game if you can see the shapes. I get a feeling that's what that is, but they might switch up the shapes on you. That would be, ugh. Well, never going to get anything out of this unless it's the center of a palindrome, so I might as well clear that out. Yeah, because then it makes for this. All right. Oh, hey. Ooh, ooh, it changed color. That's neat. Uh, <laughs> we could make a bunch of single color palindromes here, uh, or we could just keep going like this. Bling. There we go. Oh, there they go. Bye. Bye, blocks. Hope you find your dad. I don't think I have any really good choices actually, so I'm just gonna go straight down. Oh, okay, well, all right. We've lived to see another day. All right. Green, a bunch of yellow. and a, Yeah, we could have a really big yellow. You see a 10? Uh-oh. Um, let's see. 
think I think whatever we do is obviously going to have a lot of yellow in the middle here. Man, you're good at seeing those patterns, Nintendo addict. Yeah, we know what we know. Exactly. I'm good at seeing round things. I suck at this game. <laughs> purple, yellow, purple, two green. Purple, two green. Four yellow. Two green, purple. Oh, wow. Hey, that is a good one. Okay. Yeah, you're going to need those big chains to get up to the what number of points they want. Give me some puzzle and dragons. You're puzzle and dragons. Dang, I haven't thought about that in forever. I'm going to do something experimental. Let's see if that opens up anything. Actually, I think it does. I think blue... Yeah, it opens up at... Yeah. That might get us there. Uh, mm, or not. <laughs> uh... I took a few ones to to get what I could see, and it might have just bit me in the butt. Um, uh, yeah, the only real palindrome left is this nine. Yeah, we're gonna fall short. Best pounder on 56 points. If you make a mistake, you can undo one move in the pause. Oh, okay. That's a pretty solid one right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But I don't think there's anything I can attach to it to make it even bigger. Let's start with it. Clear the level on your first move. Hey, an achievement. Wee. Auto Red 099. Ah, oh, that would be the worst thing for this game. <laughs> Make this nice, easygoing game <laughs> super stressful. Oh no. Auto Red now with garbage blocks. <laughs> oh no. That's terrible. Funny enough. Uh oh. What's coming here? Today my nephew booted up Mario 35. What? Don't tell me it worked. Oh, it loads you it loads in the game and lets you select a level. Oh. But it doesn't like Oh, only then Oh man. You had me going there for a second. I was like, "Oh god. We're about to bump switch to the top of the queue getting switch on here." Because if Mario 35 comes back, believe me, that's all we're playing for, like, until it goes away again. I was born for Mario 35. Like, Tetris 99, that stresses me out. Pac-Man 99, no. Mario 35, that's a game I can play. Mario 335? Oh my god, I'd be the best player in the world. And Well, okay, maybe, like... <laughs> Mitch Flower Power than me. <laughs> than everybody else. I don't think I'm going to make it. Oh! 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 New block style unlocked. Ooh. Yeah, I still would too. Yeah, I still get a block. Oh. Look at Mr. Fancy Dan over here. <laughs> that spooked me. I didn't realize I was one point away. That was almost a hundred. But almost only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades.
Ooh. Didn't realize. It's not telling me the game's over. Is it still theoretically possible to win this? There's no way. It's just being nice. Yeah. Okay. All right. That was Otoretto. This is a nice short little stream. But what should we play next? This is a good game. I recommend it. I think it's like five bucks when it's not on sale. And when it is on sale, I think I got this for 99 cents if I recall correctly. So, and there you have it. Um, we'll be right back. We're going to get the wheel up real quick. And we're going to spin it. And we're going to see what happens. So, give me just one second to get situated with the wheel. Alright, so here we are. The wheel, once again... Ready to be spun. Autoretto was pretty fun. I thought it was a pretty cute pick. But uh, let's see what the wheel has for us next. Currently, there are 105 spaces on the Wheel of Games. At wheelofnames.com. And we are going to spin the wheel. We're going to... Let's let's sort it first. A to Z. Then let's shuffle it up real nice. Let's get it nice and jumbly. Let's get in there real good, and we will stop, and we will spin the wheel. And remember, as always, the wheel weaves as the wheel wills, and we accept the will of the wheel without question. Next time, we're going to be playing golf. <laughs> All right. We're going to be playing a golf game next time on twitch.tv slash round the wheel i wonder what that is going to uh wonder wonder what we can and we, the, yeah there's lots of possibilities there's a simpsons golf game uh there's ooh, might be a good time to get the switch going on here we could play golf story uh i like golf video games i don't like golf in real life but i like it in video games a lot i find it super relaxing uh so, so we're probably going to have quite a bit of fun there. Uh, whatever, whatever I happen to see, choose. Or maybe we'll look for something really wacky. I don't know. There's Kirby's Dream Course. That's golf. Um, there's lots of things. There's lots of things we could play. Uh, yeah. As the little Billy says over there in the chat, till then, uh... And uh, have a good night, be at peace, and enjoy yourselves. And uh, don't do anything I wouldn't do. Oh, big golf, huh? All right. Well, see you later. <laughs>